All right, so I saw this problem on the Twitter X thing, and it looked kind of fun, so I thought, uh, well, let's, you know, let's give it a try. Uh, so when I'm looking at this problem, the first thing I'm struck by is just how many opportunities for the uh, Pythagorean theorem there is. Of course, we have a right triangle right there, um, but secretly we have another right triangle here. Uh, kind of lurking out there. We have another kind of hidden right triangle right here. So uh, I don't see in any other right triangles. You know, there's a bunch of right triangles kind of lurking. So I'm kind of feeling like we're going to need to use uh, the right you know, Pythagorean theorem a bunch. Um, and my initial plan, and let's see if this works, is to let's fill this out and and then I'm going to see that there's this right triangle here, because if we're trying to find this length, that's basically the hypotenuse of this triangle. And I'm kind of feeling like we can we can get there. So let's let's see if we can make that work. Um, so, oh, goodness gracious. What do we do? OK, well, first off, let's find the length of this. Uh, square length. Looks like we have a square. And uh, so let's find the length of one of the sides of the square. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to do, uh, let's see, five squared plus seven squared is going to be the length of the side of that square. So that's going to be 25 plus 49 is equal to c squared. And then six, 74. So that's going to be c squared is equal to 74. So the length of the square side is the square root of 74. So it's not a real tidy number, but at least now we know it. Uh, we know that the length of the side of the square is square root of 74. So this is square root of 74. They're all square root of 74 because it's a square. Okay, so now uh, square root of 74. Uh, but if we're trying to find, let's see, <laughs> what are we trying to, so technically we're trying to find this length right here. Uh, so if we drop this line right here, uh, let's do it in green. Uh, come on. There we go. If I drop this in green, hmm, and let's call this x, that means this is going to be the square root of 74 minus x. And uh, we don't know what the height is. Uh, Goodness gracious! So how else? Are, what else are we gonna do here? Um, so well, let's let's just do it. So let's 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 use the Pythagorean theorem right there, and then we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem there, and we'll have a couple of couple of h squareds hanging out in there. Maybe we could do something about that. Uh, let's, let's let's take a look. So okay, let's take care of this left one first. So that's our Pythagorean theorem is going to be x squared plus h squared is equal to 5 squared. Uh, so that's x, x squared plus h squared is equal to 25. So h squared is equal to 25 minus x squared. So let's, uh, let's just hold off on that for a second. And, and let's kind of hold that. And I'll kind of put that there. Not sure <laughs> what's going to happen yet. So let's let's keep going. So now let's do this in blue. And we're going to attack this one now using the Pythagorean theorem again. So that's going to be h squared plus, goodness gracious, this is going to be gross, 70, square root of 74 minus x squared is equal to 49 because that's 7 squared. All right. Uh, so h squared sits there by itself, nothing to do. But now we're going to square this thing right here. Um, so square root times square root of 74 times square root of 74. So that's going to be 74 minus um, two copies of 70 square root of 74 x plus x squared is equal to 49. OK, so if I did it right, this is what happens when you square that. So square root of 74 minus that x. And if you square it, you're going to get uh, 74. Oops, I don't want that in actual pen. Let's use the laser. Uh, so we're going to get 74 minus two copies of the 
square root of 74 x. So that x is not actually inside the, the square root. So I want to keep that out like that. All right. And then if I do some fancy schmancy math, let's see. So we're going to get h squared, and let's just move stuff around. Um, h squared is equal to, uh, let's see, 49. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move that 74 over. So that 74 minus 49 is 6, 1, 5, 25. So that's going to be negative 25. So that's going to equal uh, uh 2 root 74 x minus x squared minus 25. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm writing it all in that order, but there you go. <clears throat> and so now I see that we've got h squared is equal to something, but we also have h squared equaling something. So let's make those equal to each other. So I'm going to shrink this a little bit. Uh, this one right here, shrink him a little, oopsies, I can't do that. Oh, let's see, is that gonna work? Ah, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna shrink that a little bit, get it kind of out of the way. And then we know that, and I'll do this in, oh, let's do it in orange. So we have 25 minus x squared from earlier is equal to two root 74 x minus x squared minus 25. So basically I took this one and this one and said, well, they're both equal to h squared, so let's make them equal to each other. And I can see some stuff is falling out. I can see this minus x squared cancels with this minus x squared. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna move the 25, so we end up with 50 is equal to 2 root 74 x. So if we divide both sides by that 2 root 74, I get 50 over 2 root 74 is equal to x. <laughs> that's kind of gross, uh, but that simplifies. Uh, that simplifies to 25 over root 74. All right, so there's my, there's my x. And that's actually pretty cool because um, now we know that this value x is actually equal to 25 root 74. So that's 25 root 74, all right? Yay! So that means this one is 25, oops, nope, is equal to 25 root 74 over root 74. All right, so we got p a piece of our triangle here, don't we? All right, now what we're still missing is this piece right here. Um, but that's just a Pythagorean theorem away because we now have for here, we have this length and the hypotenuse, but we're missing just the height. Well, that's just, all we have to do is the Pythagorean theorem again. So this is kind of pre uh, my prediction of this is going to be all about the Pythagorean theorem is kind of coming true. So let's kind of put that there for a second and, and let's attack that Pythagorean theorem opportunity again. So what do we have? Oh, let's do this in green. So we have 25 over root 74 squared plus h squared is equal to 5 squared. So we've got our leg squared our height, which is the other leg squared, is equal to our hypotenuse squared. So there we go. So we're kicking butt. And I totally just dropped my my uh, stylus. Hang on. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm not even going to stop recording because this is called live math. This is what real live mathematicians do. Okay. So anyway, um, let's start squaring. Let's just do the math. All right. So let's see. Um, Let's see, 25 squared is going to be 625 over 74. So I just squared that plus h squared. Nothing I could do there is equal to 25. All right, so let's move that fraction to the other side. So I'm going to get 25 minus 625 over 74. And 
Well, in order to combine that fraction, those fractions, I have to get a common denominator. So I'm going to bust out my calculator and I'm going to do, let's see, what is 25 times 74? So that's going to be 1850 over 74 minus 625 over 74. So h squared is equal to 1225 over 74. So now h is equal to the square root of 1225 over 74. Well, 1225 is easy. That's, um, that's 35 squared, so we know that. So h is equal to 35 over the square root of 74. So there we go. So now we know what h is. Goodness gracious. And I'm going to shrink this because we kind of don't need all that math anymore. Oopsies, there we go. And so, but we do know that that h is now 35 over, that h is now 35 over the square root of 74. So that's actually kind of cool because now we know that this length over here is 35 over the square root of 74. Four, and we now have our official um, right triangle. Boom to boom to boom. There is our right triangle. And we know our legs for that right triangle. We know that one leg is 25 over root 74. So that's 25 over root 74 squared plus, and then we know the other leg of that triangle is an addition statement. It's actually 35 root 74 plus root 74. So it's going to be 35 over root 74 plus root 74 squared is equal to, and I'm just going to put m squared because that's our desired line right there. Boom, wah, bam. So 25 over root 74 squared plus this squared is equal to our answer squared. So we want m squared. We want to find the value of m. So goodness gracious. So let's keep going on this. So uh, let's do the math. Uh, let's make it a little bit smaller because we can. We don't quite need it that big. All right. And so let's do some fancy schmancy math. So this is going to be 625 over 74. There's our squared right there. And then let's simplify this. So let's add this together first. So I'm going to kind of add these guys together first. And uh, let's see what we get. So I'm going to kind of go over. I'm going to copy that. Copy. And I'm going to put it over here on some scratch work here. And, and let's kind of add that together. All right. So let's see. Well, we're, we're going to, how about if we, oopsies, undo, there we go. All right. So how about if we multiply this guy by root 74 over root 74? That's going to give us a denominator of root 74. So what do we end up with? We end up with 35 over root 74 plus 74 over root 74 which is equal to 9, 109 over root 74. All right, so now we have that answer. So now this is going to be 109 over root 74, and we're going to square it because, remember, all I did was add those together. So now we actually have to figure that out. So that's going to be 625 over 74 plus, and I have no idea what 109 times 109 is, but let's, let's figure it out. 109 times 109 is 11881 over 74 is equal to m squared. And so now, now let's add these two fractions together. We already have a common denominator, don't we? So we just have to add that 625 plus the 11,881. We get 12,506 over 74 is equal to m squared. Um, I don't know if, if 12... 1,506 divided by 74, if that gives us a number. Oh, it does. Oh, this is awesome. This equals 169 is equal to m squared. 
So that's easy. That means M is officially 13. And that is the length of, and I'm going to shrink this baby so that we can see everything all at once. And so that tells us that the length of this line uh, right here, that length is officially 13 and look at all that work that we did man first we had to find uh, the side length of a square then we had to find uh, we had to do a the uh, Pythagorean theorem a couple of times then we had to do it again then we had to do the Pythagorean theorem again and then we had to do the Pythagorean theorem again and as we kind of did this hopscotch of Pythagorean theorems we ended up with the answer of 13. That's really kind of cool. All right, folks, if you made it this long, uh, don't forget to subscribe, press the like button and the notification and all that sort of stuff because I love making these videos and it's kind of fun uh, if I know that people are kind of watching these things. So uh, there you go. Thank you very much.